Sure looks that way. Oh look, it's uh... Wow, cool. That's the um... Solar clock, or whatever they're called. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Golden Lake spread below us. I could see Mara Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Huh, interesting. It seems there's a storm coming. Fun yeah, I thought the lighting was getting darker. Interesting. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're Look at the trees, they're moving and everything. It's it really good. is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. <laughs> yeah. I love his own voice. His words have struck madly inside my head. But I can't. I've dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay from me to Totally. <laughs> I'm just tuning him out by now. <laughs> Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt the great outdoors. Man versus nature, it's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. Let me out! <laughs> What's this? Read. The Engaging New Book by Dr. Emil Harmon, the author of the best selling Creative Flow. His groundbreaking techniques, engagement theory, and the flow explained in his own words. Oh, there's another coffee thermos. Cool. Wow, bear rug. Skin bear. No! I won't follow you. I will go wherever I want. Coffee thermos. I can hear the crackling of the thunder outside. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, that's an eagle. Wow. I mean, uh, an owl. <laughs> Come, Alan, this way. That guy's doing kung fu or something. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Oh, he's painting those, uh... Those possessed uh, guys by the darkness. Interesting. Now, you might have noticed. 
notice the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Ah. As as Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help have specialized help when you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure that they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that they are voluntarily receiving treatment and is that has been specifically tailored to you. Engagement therapy and a system method to flow work best when you are actively get engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. That is a lie, because I am not here of my own will. <laughs> Pretty sure of that. My Rogers is killing me. Oh, hey, it's them. There's a storm. Check coming. it out. Oh. What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. <laughs> That's awesome. And these two are the animals. Met them at the b diner from the very beginning. They had a, how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Nice. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. <laughs> After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are uh, in advanced stages of dimension. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Sure. <laughs> no, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room. Try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head with a hammer. <laughs> oh, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Nice. It's a manuscript page. Huh. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Interesting. 